Originally this was going to be a complete teardown of a Poundland USB power supply but um, it kind of took a long time to open it owing to the fact it uses um, tiny little uh, tri-wing blade screw screws and uh, I struggled to get the case open. Once I got it open, um, I wanted to explore it a wee bit further because it surprised me that something out of Poundland, uh, because really you don't buy a USB power supply out of Poundland, it's not really a good idea getting a cheapie. Uh, because of build quality issues. So this one, uh, PowerMate Universal Mains Charger Pro, um, it's actually surprised me because when I opened it, I found that the isolation inside, I wasn't expecting much isolation, I wasn't expecting much regulation um, of the supply. And the isolation is actually huge inside it. It's really impressive area of isolation and there's an opto-isolator. Now, it's rated at putting out 5.5 volts. I'm not 100% sure why USB chargers put out 5.5 volts. It doesn't seem a good idea to me. Um, the transformer inside, it's, uh, there's no active circuitry in the sense of a chip or anything like that. It really is just a simple free-running uh, switch mode type power supply based on discrete components. There's um, one surface mount transistor in the back. Um, and one big transistor on the, the front for switching the primary winding. Anyway, I took the transformer to bits to assess the isolation inside. My idea of a um, proper isolation in a switch mode transformer is a split bobbin, with one bobbin for the primary and second uh, and feedbacks if needed, and another uh, bobbin for the low voltage secondary. However, in this case, uh, it was done in multiple layers, and there was, it's strange, there was, from the middle of the transformer, there was the main primary, done in sections, uh, with a couple of feedback taps taken off it, and then there was the secondary uh, wound over that in this thicker wire, and it's not just thicker wire, it's got quite a decent insulation, it's almost like Kynar wire wrap wire. Um, it's possibly the main... Uh, justification for the isolation, so to speak, is the, the thickness of the insulation in this wire. But strangely, I thought the secondary would have been the final winding on it, but there was another uh, feedback winding wound round the outside of the secondary. So um, as you can see, I, I've, I've rewound it now, I've put it back together, and that just leaves the, the, uh, the secondary to put on. I'm not sure which pins it goes onto, but I'm just going to wrap it around like that. And then we'll plug it in and we'll see what happens. Oh God, that's not really staying on. I'll just, I'll just wind it around that way and jam it under the circuit board. You guys want me to actually do this, don't you? But I'm not going to. But anyway, the uh, main thing is that I, I managed to short circuit the output of this when I was testing it, trying to get the probes into the end. And it survived a couple of short circuits and it was putting out just over 5.5 volts. And it's got... A choke in the input for filtering. It's got a choke in the output for filtering. It's outwardly seems to be quite a decent quality power supply, which is surprising, um, particularly for for a pound, um, which is pretty much dollar store level. Um, so yeah, that that wasn't too bad.